So this is going to be uh, Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well Gemini Rising. Our weekly general tarot reading, uh, January 22nd to February, uh, 26th, excuse me, to February 2nd, uh, 2020. And in case, uh, guys, you're interested in getting in touch with me for a personal reading, you can do so by checking at, uh, the description down below of this video and there you are going to find a, a link to my website. So that being said, the reading is going to be seven cards in a row and no particular positions, whatever those cards shows, that's it. So it doesn't get any general than that. Um, so the first one here is going to be for you, Gemini's, the Page of Pentacles. And that is in an individual that is going to take, you know, uh, a certain place or is going to play a certain role into the life that you have to lead on throughout the week. So with the Page of Pentacles, these people, uh, this is an archetype. It doesn't necessarily have to be a child or it has to be a woman or a man. It, it, just take it as an archetype. Now, these people, they are very devoted to a particular uh, idea or to a particular thing. I'm going to say it that way. So they could be devoted to you or they could be devoted to something you want to do. And uh, these people, the Page of Pentacles, they are very um, content emotionally in a sense of that they are really emotionally attached to what, to, to that idea itself. So that being said, if you are the thing that they have been devoted into, then obviously they have an emotional attachment to your emotional attachment to your endeavors. Now, the Page of Pentacles, especially when it comes to... Um, a person or situation extremely often uh, it does shows a a friend that is kind of like a, a secret admirer it's kind of like they have a bigger emotions than just a, a friendship toward the subject of the reading or in this case towards a you gemini and it's kind of like a, but the thing with the page it is that they are not very good at taking the initiative as a matter of fact they are very slow at doing it so that is because they kind of wait for the perfect moment and for the perfect uh, not just only timing but also the place where they are going to uncover themselves and that may uh, kind of like cause the situation never to unfold because they may never see the perfect moment and the perfect place where they to reveal themselves so just be uh, why i'm saying you that it is so you can be on the lookout in case you see that someone is more how can i say it more into you than it should be and if that's the case then obviously they kind of have some sort of a crush on you but um it, but overall with the page of pentacles if you do cooperate with this person then definitely you can set up a, a very long-term fulcrum if you will moving on forward and having a, a faithful companion for a, a very 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 long time so the other card that we are going to have for you for the week is going to be the world and the world points that this week as well you will be able to finalize things that is about the world card that one finalizes something to its maximum extent and it's kind of putting it into the past and now it's time to start thinking of a new perspectives and of a new goals however with the world once you kind of like have your closure it is yeah it is like having your closure either into a recent breakup or into a project at work you know or into a friendship etc etc so once you do have the closure then you need to face the world's as the card shows naked and in tarot that is symbolizing like you don't carry anything from the past that being said if for example that is a uh, recent breakup then you should not carry on any grudge from it moving on forward into the future nor a hopes that you can reconciliate further into the future nor a sorrow from it it's just that should be completely completely indifferent to you and only then you can go to a new perspectives meaning new relationships meaning you know new uh, suitors to come around and etc etc and that is about the world it is about liberating yourself from a an, an enterprise or endeavor not necessarily good though that took so much time from your life and now is finally over and you can move on into new greater heights it is like 
you know, opening a, a new chapter into one's, uh, one's life with the world. And it kind of cooperates very well with the page because the page may be exactly the new suitor you need after the breakup, you know, or your new business partner after the failure of the previous business or the closure of the previous business, the new client and so on and so forth. So uh, with these two cards, I could say that just in time, a person steps up into your, uh, into your life, Gemini, that gives you a, um, a new fulcrum for you to move on forward with. So the third card that we do have here that is to be the judgment. And uh, judgment represents like um, very unexpected breakthrough, at least particularly in that case. And it does represent like a wake up call um, that is written in all the books that it regards to the judgment and what that wake up call really means with the judgment card. It is like where one is feeling that, you know, their life is in house and that neither of the moves they, they have as an option available in front of them actually is going to produce any significant results. The judgment hits you and when it hits you actually some sort of a... Uh, a very, uh, not very, but how can I say it? An option available that you have been unaware of, it is residing around you and it is exactly the one that you need to take on so you can produce a, a significant results for your uh, marriage, for example, for your relationship, for your career and so on and so forth. The judgment is the card pointing that after this closure here that you're going to have with that person moving on forward after the closure, then uh, everything is going to fall into place for you. Your love is going to fall into place. Your career is going to fall into its place and so on. And and so forth. So you can expect a major, major improvement here throughout the week, Gemini, with your, uh, with the entirety of your life, if you will. And the judgment points to union and reunion. But in this case, as we do have the world beforehand, it is more like a union than reunion. So it's union in between you and that page of pentacles moving on forward, either business-wise or either relationship-wise. So the next one is going to be the Seven of Wands. And Seven of Wands is the card where <clears throat> there are to be a lot of exterior factors that are going to influence your new path moving on forward career-wise or relationship-wise. And those exterior influences, I would say, are very difficult to... Uh, to maneuver around and to deflect, if you will, uh, if you address them directly. So with the seven of wands, it is important to wait patiently for the right moment and for the right uh, place where you can actually retaliate to those exterior influences. Now, those exterior influences are meant to knock you off your path, as you can see here into the uh, into the card. We do have seven wands trying to... Um, take down the person holding one wound. Now, the thing with this card is that you need to have that readiness to jump into action and to deflect any kind of um, attacks that are meant against your, for example, business or against your relationship for that matter. Seven of Wands is the card where um, you actually need to be brave. It is because those exterior attacks or exterior influences that are trying to kind of like undermine your efforts and are trying to, for example, destroy destroy your marriage, to destroy your relationship or to uh, kind of like ruin your job uh, can be overcome only with very bold, brave and heroic actions from your behalf. But above everything else, uh, you may be brave as much as you want. However, if you don't kind of catch up the exact moment when to uh, when to address the issue a lot it may be lost so be just patient guys and uh, have that acute awareness if you will when actually to um to jump into action so because this card it is deprived from emotions and probably this is how people that does not wish you good will try to get on you by exploiting your emotions or by trying to you know to to scrape down your nerves, if you will, and it is exactly the moment where you have to keep your cool. I mean, you need to be ruthless, if you will, at that particular point, and just wait, wait for your moment to come around. 
Now the next one uh, is going to be, this will be the fifth card. The fifth card for you is going to be the Queen of, the queen of Cups. So Queen of Cups is another person that steps, that steps up in this week for you, Gemini. And that card represents a, um, how can I say it? Someone who is supporting you, supporting you through all that. Queen of Cups is that person who very well knows you, knows what you are going through, knows your, where your pain resides, knows uh, how much you struggle, how much you suffer and so and, and those kind of stuff and uh, the Queen of Cups is always willing to listen to you to give you an advice although her advice is not something that you can dwell into because it's very biased in your particular favor therefore it may not be quite subjective but the purpose of the Queen of Cups is to support you emotionally through all that so you don't for example you know lose um, a sense of life, if you will. Now, the thing with the Queen of Cups is, is that Queen of Cups is very discreet, meaning that you can share with her every kind of a secret or every, any kind of plan you are anticipating to move on forward with. And uh, as well, how can I say it? She is, she. I'm saying she because it's a queen, but it could be as well a man, for example, a very good friend of yours, uh, will always uh, kind of like give you a shoulder for you to lean on in case you are feeling battered, and that you are feeling, let's say, exhausted of leading battles moving on forward. So here we do have a, a confirmation that no matter how difficult is going to be the opposition with the seven, with the seven of wands, you are always going to have that emotional support that will not allow you to lose your sanity and to outburst because outbursting, it is a very, very bad thing that you can do throughout the week. This is exactly how your enemies and your rivals are trying to to get into you. The next one, which is the sixth card here, is going to be another person that we do have. That is the Queen of Pentacles. And in this particular case, the Queen of Pentacles plays a role as a counselor of yours. That is someone that is going to, um, I cannot say give you an idea, but will help you to uh, identify the maximum potential of yourself because this is exactly what the queen of pentacles does it tries to maximize a options available and potentials heretofore yet unexplored of oneself so it is very likely by consulting yourself with this person to find out uh how can i say it um to find out what tr what you are truly capable of moving on forward into uh, into your future. And on top of that, the Queen of Pentacles physically is going to help you. Uh, how can I say it? Um, stabilizing and consolidating your positions right now. So you do have an ally here who is going to step up into the situation once you know these exterior, exterior negative influences are trying to influence your situation, either your career or either your relationship for that matter. Queen of Pentacles, however, it is a very absorbed person, self-absorbed person, very proud of his or her achievements. And for that reason, you should not, um, I don't know how to say it in English, but like undermining their uh, their achievements in general or undermining the, um, the goals that that person reached throughout her or uh, his life. And the seventh card for you, it is the Hierophant that we do have at the end. So that is a, a quite of a, a positive card for you, Gemini. So by the end of the week, it does look like that everything truly is going to fall, fall in its place. The Hierophant, it is the father of the hierarchy. This card points that uh, everything is going to take its, um, its natural order if you will, and uh, people who did not did a great job, they're not going to have a great result. Those who did a great job are going to have great results. But above everything else, the Hierophant points that at the end of the week, you are going to see how that benevolent support, which you're going to have from the Queen of Cups and from the Queen of Pentacles, and with the cooperation of the Page of Pentacles is going to produce great results. Um, not to mention that at that point, there will be a serious convos met, uh, led, I mean, conversations led in between four of you, how, you know, uh, how one can capitalize on a such a recent situation uh, in, one's, uh, in one's life and how one can make the most, and I mean the most, out of it, okay? 
So the way I see it here, Gemini, just so I can summarize this reading, guys, it does look like that at the start of the week, a good things are gonna happen to you, either a new job or a new suitor for yourself, you know, or it's just you're gonna find a way how you can stabilize and how you can make your life better, and that is gonna cause many people to envy you. And they will try to undermine this option available for you. They will try to basically deprive you from this path opening in front of you in order to get yourself happier, to get yourself more lucrative, and so on and so forth. And it is exactly where your allies are stepping in here, the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, helping you to overcome this competition or this rivalry here that we do have, in which four of you, the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups, and you are going to combine forces, overcome the rivalry, and... Um, you know the competition and from there everything is going to start unfolding by its natural order moving on forward into the future so that being said gemini uh this was your um general weekly tower reading guys hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh we are going to see each other around until then bye